So we've talked a lot uh, here about the response to the virus, what to do, how to feel, what not to feel, what kind of practices to engage in. Um, but we haven't really talked about the uh, lead character in this play, which is the virus itself. So um, I wanted to talk about the virus you know, with a caveat that I am not a biologist, but I do have good sources. Um, and just so that we can be a little bit more familiar with what the virus is and how it operates and a little bit about the um, production of vaccine, how that works. And I think that um, having or gaining this knowledge and wisdom would sort of uh, help to maybe remove some of the fear and would help us be more informed about what we're dealing with. If I make any mistakes on conveying this information, I apologize ahead of time. Um, but anyway, this is what I have learned in my um, research. So a virus is a sub-microscopic particle that can infect living cells. But they themselves are not made of cells. So they lack a cell membrane. Um, but and because they don't have a lot of the structures, reproductive structures that regular cells have, they cannot reproduce on their own, and therefore they rely on a, whole, on a host cell to be able to reproduce. And how they reproduce is by synthesizing proteins that allow them to make copies of themselves. And although viruses are not classified as living beings, they do share two very important traits with living beings. One of them is that they have genetic material, genetic, genetic code, and the other one is that they can evolve. And so this is, this is why the classification of viruses has been controversial, because it calls into question just what it means to be alive. So antibiotics have no effect on viruses. Antibiotics are effective with bacteria. And so uh, in order to um, prevent viral diseases, uh, then we have some vaccines. There are also a few antiviral drugs. And in a future BBC, I will talk a little bit about the development of antiviral drugs as a part of maybe a series of two or three, because this is a long subject. Um, Again, I just wanted to emphasize that viruses um, can only replicate by infecting a host cell. They cannot reproduce on their own. And so what exactly is a virus? And I'm going to kind of show you a little bit what a virus uh, looks like. So a virus has a central uh, genetic um, structure or genome, uh, genetic structure, which is usually made out of DNA or RNA. And uh, that genetic structure is usually coded and is involved in a protective coding like this, for example. And this protective coding is made of uh, proteins. And then this coding is itself protected by an outer envelope, which is also made of lipids, is made of lipids. Although some viruses don't have an envelope to protect them, right? And so the uh, internal protection is also called a capsid. And that's made of um, encoded, is proteins in, encoded by the viral genes. And then uh, there is the lipid envelope that is a protection. Now, it is this envelope that, for those viruses that have it, that interacts with the uh, host cell. And I'll explain how that works a little later. Um, 
So anyway, and so in order to understand how to create a vaccine and what would work for each particular kind of viruses, the researchers have to understand what exactly is in the capsid or coating and what exactly is in the envelope. Because only by understanding this structure of the virus can then create a vaccine that is going to be specific to the virus that they're trying to um, you know, uh, prevent. I hope you're all with me at this point. I'm trying to make it simple for myself included, because I am not a biologist, as I already mentioned. So there is a, um, um, there is a wide variety of ways in which these viruses can be structured. And there is a, an organization that, uh, a protein data bank that tracks and has information, collected information about um, about 90% of viral structure. So it's a data bank that says this is how the, the most, um, the most, the better known viruses are structured and here are the proteins and so forth. And so we already have that information uh, available. But um, in general, so there is a number, a procedure that viruses use to infect a host cell. And so the first thing that happens is that the envelope for those who, for those viruses who have the envelope uh, attaches to the uh, membrane of the outer membrane of the cell, the host cell. Um, right after attachment then, uh, due to specific receptors in the cell, then they can uh, allow or yeah, interact with the envelope in such a way as to allow the envelope to penetrate the host, the host cell. So that's the second, the second step in the process is penetration. And then once, once the, cell, the host cell has been penetrated, basically the, um, the virus uh, opens up and destroys its own protective coating or code or, uh, to allow the um, genetic material that's inside of it to then penetrate the whole cell and start the process of uh, reprodu reproduction. Okay? So that's called, so now we've talked about the attachment, the penetration, this one that is the encoding, and now once the encoding happens, you go into the next step, which is replication. So now that the viral uh, genome is released, then uh, due to interactions between the DNA and the RNA, then uh, the process of uh, synthesizing uh, new uh, material, genetic material begins. And so then this genetic material is assembled and it culminates with the release of new um, viral uh, uh, entities into the um, body of the infected organism. So that is the process how, uh, for the viruses to replicate within a, a host body. So then that process has to be, um, again, understood by anyone who is trying to develop a um, vaccine for the particular um, virus. And so um, proteins play a very important role in the constitution of the virus as well as how it, um, how it, um, uh, how it develops. Um, and the reason why proteins are important is because they are the, um, uh, they, they have the, um, they form the structure and they rule or um, have, how can I say, they determine the function of the cell. So these proteins um, have a very pivotal role. So anyway, 
that's just a little bit about that. And, and the next, in the next BBC, um, I will talk about the different kinds, how the different kinds of vaccines are developed and how long more or less it takes the uh, process of the trials and then uh, culminating with a very interesting histor story about the first person who created uh, a viral, um, uh, a viral, viral treatment, uh, I, which I think hopefully you'll find as interesting as I did. So with all that, thank you for listening.